All right, so there was this one time when my big ex and I were broken up and we were spending the day together and we were driving around doing something, I don't even remember. And um, we were in her car and on the radio, the, the song from Crowded House comes on, you know, Don't Dream It's Over, I think it's called. And um, in case you don't know the song, the, the, the main part that I want to bring up here goes like this, you know, hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. I mean, you know that song, that's terrible singing, there's a reason why I don't sing, but now you know the song if you don't already. This was an interesting thing because we started talking about that song, she said it really reminded her of, of us, and I thought, oh wow, that's great, like you're getting hope that we're gonna get back together, that's great, like maybe you're changing your mind. And she said, actually, no, I'm not. Uh, it reminds me that we're not going to get back together. And then we started talking a little bit more, and she s said that she was hearing the lyrics as, Hey now, hey now, don't dream, period. It's over, period. And she was reading it that way, whereas I was reading it as, like, don't dream, it's over. Like, don't give a hope. There's still hope that things can work out. This is one of the confusing things that can happen during the process of your ex falling back in love with you. Hey there, it's Clay with ModernLove.Life, and in this video we are going to be talking specifically about what it feels like when your ex is falling back in love with you. Now that story I just told you is uh, something that I went through with my big ex during our first breakup. You know, in the last video we did go over um, my story of our first breakup um, in this journal that I found when I was digging through an old box of things. So I wanted to go through uh, some things that that whole story and that whole experience of reading that old journal brought up for me. Your ex is going to have a hard time opening up and trusting you again, opening up and loving you again. Uh, and one thing that was really frustrating for me, and by the way, you know, leave a comment down below if this at all rings any sense of truth for you. It seemed like she wanted to be back in love with me again, but she was intentionally holding herself back. And it was really frustrating because I was like, why can't you just see that I'm different? Why can't you just see that things have changed? Why can't you just give us another chance? Why do you have to be so stubborn with all of this? Maybe that's something you could relate to. It's definitely something that I can relate to because I lived that. But this is actually a normal part of the process because you see, when your ex breaks up with you, especially if it's something that's been sort of building over some time, they have to go through this process of emotion shutting down one thing after another after another they have to start seeing like the dream of what the two of you could be together just isn't going to materialize the two of you aren't gonna have this great life that you were talking about you the two of you aren't gonna have this great future together and so they have to start giving up these ideas as they slowly start to close their heart off and when it actually gets to this critical point where they actually break up with you um, that's when the breakup actually happened. And then, you know, after that, usually us, the people on the receiving end of the breakup, realize, oh no, something is going on here. I need to start to fix this. That's cue damage control mode, cue all of this, trying to fix everything and all of that. And sure, your ex may see this and they may like it a lot. But the thing is, is that their heart is so closed off. It's so shielded from everything that they've had to go through to get to this point that the idea of opening up and trusting you again feels like such a huge huge risk. It feels like, can I really open myself up to possibly being hurt again, to being let down again, to all of this stuff? And so you're probably going to get a lot of this discouragement from them, or this stubbornness from them, or this, uh, hey, I wish I could love you, but I just don't feel it right now sort of stuff from them. It's, it's maddeningly frustrating for you because you're like, well, you want this, why don't you just do it? Why do you have to hold on to this stubbornness that says, hey, I'm going to hold myself back from this. I want this, but I'm not going to do it. I love you, but, I, but I'm not in love with you. I want to be with you, but I think we should see other people. It's so frustrating, isn't it, if you've ever experienced this? And so this is this process that your ex has to go through in order to rebuild the trust between the two of you. This is uh, basically those five stages of getting back together. And basically what I was describing here in my interaction between me and my big ex is this whole experience of what we'd call riding the dragon. She was sort of warming up to me. She was saying like, hey, I think I still love you, but we can't be together. Um, and so this is sort of that riding the dragon. This is that tug of war. There's, there's these two forces pulling in one direction, one pulling 
her toward me in this case. Like, hey, I want to trust you again. I want to believe in you again. The other one pulling her away from me, saying like, hey, this is dangerous. I don't know if you should trust him. I think he might just be all talk. This is just going to go back to normal. He's going to get crazy busy again, and he's not going to have time for you and all that sort of stuff. And so there's this tug of war back and forth, which is why we need consistency to actually build up the trust between our ex and ourselves. And it's through consistency that your ex is going to slowly start to let go of this apprehension that they have about getting back together. What you want to do is make sure that you're showing up consistently. And as you do this, you'll start to rebuild connection one layer at a time and rebuild trust one layer at a time. So anyway, is this something that you can relate to? Has your ex given you anything like this? Please drop a comment down below letting me know. Anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.